So have you ever been watching a movie and an actor or an actress comes out and you think to yourself, what is their name? And it's driving you crazy and you push and you push and you push and just the name's on the tip of your tongue and the harder you push, the, the, the more you can feel the, the name right on the tip of your tongue, but you're just, you just can't quite get it. And it's, it's a exasperating feeling. It happens to us all. It happens to me a lot. And I usually just kind of give up and figure my brain's shot and um, I'll just forget about it. And then, you know, an hour goes by, a day goes by, and then boom, the name just pops into your head. Um, and I've almost kind of gotten to the point where if I want to try and remember like the name of someone in a actor or actress in a movie, I'll just kind of purposely try not to think about it because I figure, well, why go through all that? I can just wait a day and it'll come to me. So I think that's something that happens to, to most people. And But what does that have to do with Buddhism? Um, so here's the deal. As a newbie uh, coming to Buddhism, you're going to hear some stuff that just makes absolute no sense whatsoever. Worse than no sense, just pure and utter nonsense. In fact, stuff that you're just, it just is so off base that it could be a little off-putting. So here's, here's a, um, a, a tip that I have, something that I kind of just learned for myself. And that is, when you hear something that's kind of mind-bending, makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, don't fight it. Just just file it away. Just just kind of tuck it away like that name of the actor or actress you see in a movie. Just let it, set it aside. And, and you'll find that your brain will do the same kind of sub, subconscious fermenting or subconscious thinking or the pieces or the wheel, the, the wheels are still turning um, for, you know, for another day or in the case of trying to figure out Buddhism, it could be months later that something will just pop into your head. You'll see something, you'll hear something, you'll hear something said a different way and you'll go, boom, that's what he meant. So it's really easy to get frustrated by all the gobbledygook that you'll hear studying Buddhism. Just treat it like trying to remember a name of an actor or an actress in a movie. File it away, just kind of tuck it away, and just wait for that moment where it goes, boom, I got it.